Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Jack Cody, and I'm at the West Michigan Golf Show with one of the number one teachers of the game in the country, Brian Mansella, up from beautiful North. North. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, a lot of people uh, pronounce it all kinds of different ways, and we'll, we'll take any of the clear. Brian is uh, one of the, uh, uh, although he's still a young, young guy, he is a teacher of uh, golf and we've not seen that before. Well, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take the folklore and uh, what a good player feels out of what he teaches. It might be a good idea if that people felt like he's Singles and much of the ball, and 
So it's probably the term of play, right? You know, like, or if I could have just this, that might have been a U.S. Open Championship, or that kid might have went to a better power. And so I'm just saying Ross over, and we found a big rock with, with all the university research and all these scientists. But like, they were just doing their stuff. We called and went, well, somebody called, you know. So there's this wealth of information that was already there. And now they're listening to us and doing new research the questions that we want to answer. And, and what's going to wind up happening here in the next couple of years, we're we'll predicting from the friends from the wall, is there's going to be measurement devices that are going to be affordable, that are going to measure things that aren't being measured right now. And that is going to revolutionize the teaching. Well, how is this different? What's going from uh, and well, let's say, let's say 3D, you know, 3D technology has been around for a while. And what, what 3D will tell you is, if my wrist is hot, you know, say, so about 90 degrees, right? And then, and then now my wrist is hot 70 degrees, right? Yeah. 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 And it was unpacking that a little bit, right? And it was unpacking that a little bit, right? And it was unpacking that a little bit, right? And it was unpacking that a little bit, right? And it was unpacking that a little bit, right? And it was unpacking that a little bit, right? And it was unpacking that a little bit, right? And it was unpacking that a little bit, right? And it was that I was putting on this golf club to make that real life happen. And maybe I started trying to unpack it, like Mr. said, way sooner than that. Isn't that more important than when it actually happened? Like, if you go push that dodge car right there out of the snow, it might be coming down that hill a little bit. We're pushing the same amount of bar, and we're going backwards. At some point, we slow it down. At some point, we stop. And then at some point, we start pushing forward. So if you just measured it, you say, well, okay, after 45 seconds of having your hands at the car, then start pushing the car. But really, we were pushing the same the whole time. And I think that is really useful information. When are you pulling? When are you pushing? When are you twisting? And that stuff is available in universities, but it's going to be available for golf clubs. It's going to help the people that get sick. I don't know. Well, you know, a lot of my work now is just working with our teachers, you know, running the website, doing things like Go show, it's a lot of fun. When I'm at, at, at the club, I try to keep, keep it down to about five a day. Uh, I find that any more lessons to that, I'm not the same product I was to begin. Uh, now, when I travel, I'm, this year I'm going to be uh, in New York at a, a club that uh, you might remember had a couple of majors three, three years ago, Engineers Club. Uh, you know, I'm there for a week. I'm probably going to be there you know, eight, nine, ten hours a day because I'm trying to you know, load it all into a small period of time. I think what teachers need to figure out, because a lot of them burn out, right? There's been some famous cases of people literally are teaching themselves almost like, you know, put a great golf course in the sky. If, if people are paying for your best, and if, if you can give them your best for four hours a day, you have to figure out how to be good enough to charge enough money to, you know, you know pay your bills. At four less a day and do a better job than just standing there going through the most. Yeah, it, 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 it helps, you know, uh, it, it helps when you're on the road teaching, and it helps at home and when you do golf schools. Um, the good thing now is with, with the internet. I have students all around the world. I have a student in Poland. He has his own indoor golf studio with a track team. And we get on Skype. And I give him an hour lesson just like I was standing in front of him. So there's a, there's a big world out there. There's probably 50 million people that play golf. And that's plenty of golfers to keep all these golf shops happy and all these golf boards happy. If the people who play, play more. And if I can do just a little bit of this, I've got to elevate the business. And elevate instruction so that people have more fun because they have more fun, they'll play more. And I, 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 I've had a decent career. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure when you're, given, when you're given a golf lesson, right, the easiest thing that I do is the estimation process. So somebody read an article, and the article comes out and all guys are a scientist, right? 
oh, I want to go take a look from my guy. I like that information. They come down. That's sold out on me. They said I know it already, right? So they, I get it completely different than the guy. Like, I think I'm proud of you. So, right? so not everybody, you know, is in the stage of their career that they get all this, you know, media, you know, help. So when somebody goes to one of these, you know, I've closed in the building today, Having something that's measuring what your body's doing, what the fuck's doing, gives them some credibility. See, you're not doing, it's not just being fair, man. You're looking at video. There's some objective data that the student can go, okay, here's what I'm doing now, and I can see what the pros are doing, and then I can make a measure to see that I'm doing more what the pros are doing. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot easier sales job for a teacher who doesn't have a reputation to just be able to show somebody, hey, that, that I'm actually making a bet we're going this way, and I just, I'm not going to have Do you have a camera? Uh, what kind of equipment do you use? Well, uh, you know, in this film, great to study, make the score, a tour of that, unbelievable game. So I have to do So I just use my track camera. It's everything the club's doing, everything the ball's doing, and it'll be set up to six Apple cameras. So I've got a camera right here in my pocket, iPhone 6, 240 frames a second, wireless to my track. I can put it anywhere. It's flat. I can put it on the ground, and you can see your hands. I can hold it on a stick and get an overhead shot. And you can have to the camera and the ceiling. So, and, and then I've got, I've got a few of these, you know, and, and, and put them around, and you get four, five, six views. Just that's how many you need. And then with my, you know, students that have been around for a while and need more information, if we have to, we'll go to one of the labs and get a measure by one of the scientists and get some real hard data and, and try to, like, find that needle in a haystack that's keeping that golfer from, from playing that best. We've got to bring the Henry Ford tomorrow to the respect card. Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's really, uh, I, I was watching a, a neat little video that somebody had uh, boxed it up a little bit with some little rap music in the end, but it was just very uh, eloquent. Professor of Science talking about, hey, you drove the other day in the car because of science. You know, you, you're listening to you're listening to this show on a satellite that was put up there because of science. You know, so science is important, and I think in golf, there's just so much to this, right? You got people like Brandon Sambuie, who's a fine golfer, not a golf teacher, talking about why Tiger or somebody else in the language, but the head goes that whole different. Bobby Jones has to go. The head has to go there. Well, you, you can all swing like a, you know, like, you know, just 75 miles an hour to you keep your head level, but knowing why that has to happen. In the hands of somebody like that would be huge. I'd love to get to him and be able to, like, upgrade this because people listen to what they hear on TV. You can't imagine the things that I've heard in the last couple of weeks that I know they've heard, you know, in some media outlets. So, uh, that's one of my goals in the next few years. I'm, Radio or TV or something, it, 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 I can only travel so much. If I get on DJ Tour Radio and have my own show, a lot of people can listen to me at one time, and uh, I like to talk, so I got, I got that going to call me. I thought, how could I One of my uh, students a uh, few years back uh, was a world famous marketing expert. And I thought uh, he was the biggest teacher at Ohio State. Jack Nicholas is in his class. Took a business class. Uh, Nicholas did pretty good in business, so my have learned something. At this point, he's a $750 an hour marketing guy in the early 90s. And I said, you know, you think I should work on losing this access? He went, oh! Goofy. So if you start traveling, that'll be your calling card. Oh, I thank Mr. Dewey every day. <laughs> oh, it's terrific. Uh, I think it's one of the great accents in the country. Might, might be the top. <laughs> we, we have fun with it back home. It, 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 the, uh, the plan for it is a yak. Why a T accent? Because in New York, where I do a lot of work, you know, they say, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> but we say, where you at? 
and, 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 and if, it, if you go to my little bit better, you might say, where you at, dog? <laughs> I'm going by my mom and that's just a strip. <laughs> well, how about the golf game? I mean, that, that's the all lessons to almost all the time. Yeah, you know, it's, it's always been a goal. I mean, since there was a golf game, I said, you know, I like to be on the golf game. Now, the first thing I thought you could do is, like, get out of these certain minutes, you know, I mean, that was good on TV, and I made a, a strength into a weakness somehow with a lot of pasta and boiled seafood. But uh, it was fun to eat, and it's going to be hard to take off. But it's something that I, I, when I watch the golf game, it, it, it pains me most of the time to watch. And it's good, because I'm a golf nut, right? I wake up thinking golf, and go sleep thinking golf. And I think, you know, if the golf game doesn't have to be, you need to have somebody like me, right? You need to have somebody who's a little bit more in your face, who's got a little bit more energy, because everything's kind of at a certain speed on the golf course. Somebody needs to pick this thing up. It's just too much of the same old stuff, the same people. And, you know, the reason that you've got really racks and bags and boxes full of drivers over there that are great fights, right? Because there's two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old drivers. You know why? Because everybody who can afford it wants this new stuff, right? So people want something new, and, uh, you know, I hope I get the opportunity. I think that you certainly should, because you'll be put on that heck of a show. Who is a guy that's driving me jealous when we're not new? Uh, he's not new, but, <laughs> but a lot of people think it's an idea to say new, and science is bad. Yes, sir. Thank you.